Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Duck of the Gamer back in with another video. Now today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can stream and record Manual 17 or any mobile game like that through your desktop by mirroring your phone screen to your computer and using OBS. Now for this method, you only need one piece of hardware and that's simply a USB cable um, for Android to micro USB or whatever USB um, your phone needs, USB type C, uh, just basically anything to connect your phone to the computer. Now before we do anything, just make sure your uh, phone is connected to your computer via USB and that USB uh, debugging is enabled. If you don't want to do that, just go to developer options. You can see right there. If you don't have developer options, just look it up. It's super easy. Um, just make sure you have developer options and then click USB debugging. It's on. Another one right there. Make sure USB debugging is on. If you don't have it on, then it will simply not work. I think it says that um, in the app and on the PC. Um, you should make sure you have USB debugging on. If, it, if you don't, then it will simply not work. So once you have that, your phone is plugged into your computer and you have USB debugging on, what you need to do is click on the links in the description. Now the first link is to OBS. Most of you guys know what this is. You can record your screen. That's how I'm actually recording right now. You can see right here, there I am using OBS to record this video. There's download OBS depending on what operating system you have. If you have Windows, get OBS Classic. If you don't have Windows, um, get Mac or the get OBS Studio for Mac or Linux, wherever you have. Um, download that, set that up, and then just set that program to the side. And then download Mobize and click the little download right here. Don't click connect or the app download. You get a little setup installed right there. Make sure you install that, run it. It's just as a normal installer as you would with any app or program. Um, and then the last thing you'll need to do is get an app on your phone. Now, depending on what um, on what smartphone you have, I currently have a Samsung Galaxy S6, so I got Mobize and mirroring for Samsung. But if you have an HTC, LG, um, anything like that, you can just get Mobize and mirroring. Now, this is only for Samsung, so if the thing is not working, make sure you have the proper app. But I have an S6, so I have the Samsung version. You don't get mirroring, so just download that on your phone. I have the links in the description if you guys need to see what it looks like. Just download that. And then we'll be ready to go now once you've downloaded it open up the mobile app on your phone make an account it's really easy just go set up an email uh password and everything like that and then once you're set up your phone should look like this you should have a little loading screen right there where it says waiting for a computer and then after you're at that screen you just want to open up the mobile pc app now somewhere in this whole process of you signing in on the computer and having your phone plugged in it will ask uh, for you the usb debugging option of you a bunch of numbers bunch of colons a bunch of letters just click ok it's basically asking if your pc can do stuff to your phone it's, it's not going to harm it anyway um it's just making sure that your phone can actually get the signal to your computer once you've done that you just want to log in um and then it might actually come up right now i'm not too sure i've already uh made it so it always uh says yes to it so it's not going to pop up for me but once you sign into your pc and you sign on your phone you should get a message that says uh waiting to capture the screen just click start now as you can see my screen is now captured i can close out my phone there it is i can actually control my phone through the desktop that's pretty weird basically how usb debugging works but now all you want to do is go to the desired app on your phone or whatever or whatever you want to stream um just make sure it's the size that you want um the portrait landscape that you want and then make sure that your phone is in ghost mode if it's not it, it looks like this or whatever make sure your um the program is in ghost mode by clicking the little ghost up here um, and then once you're in the app, just click control enter and it'll make it go full screen. Now I could live stream perfectly like this with a screen and everything with the screen and everything as is the face cam. Now, as you can see, the game is full screen. It's like 720p. It's not full HD, um, but it's still really high quality. It's really good for streaming. Um, it's better than another method. Um, other people I've seen on YouTube, what they do, um, I'll show you what they've done. Um, they've gone, they've added a monitor capture. Uh, they go to properties and they enter a subregion. Now, what a subregion does, it uh, captures a select area. It's not the full area. Now, when they capture a subregion like this, they capture the phone. And yes, it does work, but again, it is also really, really, really bad quality. Look at this, guys. This is quite poop, to be honest. And you can't even get it like perfectly square, like aspect ratio. Um, look at this. It, the all the quality is terrible. I mean, look at this guys compared to the other method this is quite awful quality to be honest everything looks like 480p 360p really bad quality compared to the other method i would really 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 recommend i'm um, just going the full screen route instead of capturing the sub region now after you've got everything full screen i'm not going to go full screen because i just don't want a huge man mobile thing on my monitor but once you've got everything set up you do control enter go full screen um it's super easy you could do anything you can add music to your stream um, you can add an overlay, you can do anything you want. So this is basically a way to record your phone screen 
without actually using a, uh, a screen recorder on your phone. The file in already is on your computer. You don't have to drag a file from your phone to your computer. Um, also, you can control your phone from your computer. It's kind of weird. I don't see any practical uses. But you never know. Something might arise you need to control your phone from your computer. So I know this uh, tutorial is pretty long, but it's it's not too complicated. But if you don't have like one setting ticked or two settings ticked, then the thing will not work. So I was just making sure that you guys had all the proper um, like settings for everything set up um, and that everything was going to work fine and dandy. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because I upload daily Mad Mobile 17 content. So it's been your boy Duck of the Gamer. Peace.